Hi all, so we are going to do another beginner's uh, tutorial to SOLIDWORKS. So today we're going to have a go at making this little exercise here. So it's a good little um, beginner's activity, um, looking at how we extrude shapes, how we add material on top of other material um, to create a little bit more of a complex shape. If you're new to SOLIDWORKS, this is going to be a perfect activity for you just to get into the idea of creating drawings and uh, being able to turn them into 3D models. Um, I'm currently doing a range of these activities. So again, I'll leave a link in the top corner. Um, have a look at them activities, have a practice through. They're all good for giving you a good idea how to get started with SOLIDWORKS. Um, yeah, so let's have a go. Okay, so let's get started then. Um, so let's start on the top plane and we are going to sketch and I am going to sketch a rough outline of the base of this shape. So starting from this bottom corner, I'm going to come across, across an angle, up, back and down here like so. Now, once I've got that basic shape, I am going to create now um, some dimensions to put this to size. So my back section here is 40. And my full length across the back here is 60. And I am going to be coming across 20 there. Now, I don't know the length of this, but I can find out the angle from there to there being 45. So that's giving me the base of this component. Now I'm going to extrude that up. It's 10 milli um, thick. So I'm going to features extrude and bring that up 10 like so. Now what I'm going to do now is add the extra bits onto this. So click on there. I'm going to sketch. Now I'm going to take that so I can see it from the top. I'm going to sketch using a corner rectangle from this bottom corner along here. Now I know it's going to be 10 wide there. And it's going to be 30 long. So I'm drawing that onto the top surface of that component. 30 long, like so. Now, once I've got that, like so, I'm going to features and I'm going to extrude that up, giving me that distance up there. Again, another 10 mil. Tick like so. So that's bringing it up from that plane. Now, the other side, I'm going to come around to the back and I'm going to use this here. So I'm going to sketch, click that face, and I am going to sketch on that face. Now again, get it straight on. So if you hit the space bar, it will give you this view. Get that straight on and I'm going to sketch onto this face. Now, doing that, I'm going to create the rough shape again. So up, across and down. And then close the sketch off with a line across the bottom there. Okay. Add some dimensions to that. So it comes up 30. Um, it comes across 30. And the base comes across 50. So giving me that outline. I also have a hole in this. So I'm going to add that at this point. So I'm going to sketch a rectangle, corner rectangle in there. And I'm going to find the size of it. So I want it to be 10 by 10. So 10 by 10. Now it's not defined because it's not positioned. At the moment, I could drag that and put it wherever I wanted. So I need to position it. Now it's 10 down from the top. So I'm going to click that top line and I'm going to click the top line of my box. Bring it to the side, click there, and I'm going to make 10. And the same from the side, so it's 10 from the side as well. So click between the two, drag it out so I can see, and 10 there. 
just neaten them dimensions up so you can see there. Like so. So 10 across, 10 down, and each side is 10. Now I've got that shape. If I go to extrude it, so features, extrude, it will extrude that inner contour. And it's coming out this way. Well, I don't want it to come out this way. I want it to go into my model. So I'm just going to flip the direction using the two arrows, reverse direction there. I want it to go 10 again. So leaving it at 10. Tick like so. And that will give me that finished shape like so. Now, if I were to add a, a material to that, I can do that here. So I can just enter uh, edit material and let's make it a nice metal just so it's finished and looks a bit nicer. So let's go. Um, uh, where are we? Any old stainless steel. Let's go there. Apply. And close. So we've just got a bit of a color to it and we could render that and make it to the real product. Okay, so that's just a beginner's activity for you there, just running through the process of uh, creating a shape, extruding on top of another shape, and how we use the dimensions and lines to create that slightly more complex shape. For those of you who are beginners, this would be a nice little activity for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was useful for you. Um, for those that are used to using SolidWorks, um, uh, there's some just little bits of tips and bits for you there. Uh, please, if you're new to the channel, um, like and subscribe to the video. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.